Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Air Today Throws Nation, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about drills. We're gonna talk about drills that produce results, and this is an excerpt from one of our recent online free webinars, and we talked about not just the role of drills, but the structure, and then we talked about four main objectives, and we're gonna talk about it in this video, and these objectives are what make you throw really far. So hopefully you enjoy, check it out. You know, we had a kid who was throwing 80 feet in the discus in December, and he threw 170 feet by April. His PR coming into that so basically the role of drills right is drills ideally teach the right pattern to new throwers they correct bad patterns they make unnatural patterns more natural because what we talk about is that two seconds there's nothing really natural about throwing the shot put or the discus and then obviously the thing about drills is we want to accelerate learning and improve faster right so the biggest reason for that is reps this kid was a perfect example this was a thrower and he'd been throwing about two weeks so it's not a it's not a real pretty throw but you could see by doing a bunch of drills going through the six pillars teaching in the system this is how this kid was moving in about 10 days um here's another athlete this was her first week doing the full she'd been throwing one full week as a rotational thrower and we started out teaching kind of what how we're going to break everything down today so again good movement especially for a kid that's been doing it for two weeks a week and a half and it would just get a lot better so that's what we look at the role of drills so here's how we're going to try to break it down when we talk about our system we're going to talk about six pillars you're going to see that drills are really we focus on teaching positions right so every pillar has a location objective and position so you're gonna understand where you are in the ring what are you trying to do at that point in the in the throw and the positions that are associated with that's what the pillars are all about and that's what we kind of put on our social media and different things out there so pillar connection is drill you know sequential positions right so that's pillar one two two three one two three four five three four five six that kind of thing that's pillar connection so we have drills we're just doing movements and then we call what we have as our TCR drills which are throws so kinematics this is where we're dealing with the rhythm and the timing and everything else and that's a really important way and how we look at it so we do all of these pretty much at most of our coaching sessions here's what you're gonna look at so we want to look at drills in this way drills are of course like I said earlier are not a new concept but how you use the drill is what matters and how you see the role of the drill is key so in the throwing chain reaction it serves as a major function right motor pattern development that's what we're trying to do so like here's a perfect example and you'll see how we utilize the drills because we're trying to create more of that functional pattern so drills are not a new concept but the function that we're trying to how we're trying to move and how we're trying to feel the throw is what matters so adding feels is what I thought motor patterns and feels we want to look at drills to develop more than positions so really we start thinking about not just positions but we want to understand that there's kind of four core things that we do with drills we have to create tension we have to understand balance and then we can create speed we basically create power so the bands basically and this is how we're showing you pillar one pillar four five that's where we're creating more tension balance is pretty much throughout most of the throw certain things you can be off balance surprisingly just at the beginning of the throw there's simple concepts but getting your body to do the simple concept that's the challenge and that's where you see all different varying levels and I've seen kids you know we had a kid who was throwing 80 feet in the discus in December and he threw 170 feet by April. His PR coming into that season was 101 feet. He threw 171 feet. Everybody has a different timeline. It finally clicked. He was strong quick and he looked really awful in the beginning and that's the, the major thing. Feeling the throw is really, really critical. So of course when we look at drills, we, we look at the start and again we look at that as pillar 1-2, the entry which is pillar 2-3, the orbit which is going to be whether even it's a linear your line like the glide you're going to have a path of that shot from one to six it's going to be super important how you're holding it discus is going to be the same thing how you're holding it where it is in, in the radius and that sort of thing the sweep again we're just going to start to look at pillar two three four these are the things how you would normally look at it but that's what we said we want to help people start realizing we have to feel balance we have to feel tension we have to understand that when we once we're on balance
balance and we create the right tension, then you can create more speed. And then when you're doing those three, the power is going to naturally come. That's the whole idea behind what we're constantly teaching our coaches and our athletes. It's a chain reaction. That's the science. So these would be the kind of the context that you're more familiar with, but we're going to look at it. Okay. So when we're at a high point, we're creating tension. We're trying to accelerate, you know, so we're trying to create speed. We have to be on balance to have the right high point. If your high point's low, you're going to be off balance, all those sorts of things. So delivery in the block, again, that's going to be critical to creating power. And that's where we talk about power position is really, we break it into pillar five, six, and we're showing specific movement things there. 